So what is Descript and what can it do for you? Let's find out. Hey, my name is James. Uh, welcome to this channel. If you're new here, uh, I love creating videos all about podcasting, uh, looking at audio equipment, how to grow your audience, stuff like that. So feel free to subscribe to this channel. Ping, turn on your notifications for updates because I'm always producing new content like this. Now I'm founder of radio.co, podcast.co and matchmaker.fm. So I've been working with audio entrepreneurs for the past 15 years, helping them get results. So now that's all out of the way. I wanted today to talk about a tool that we've been using for the past year and a half in our business. It's saved us a lot of time uh, and it's called Descript. And um, you know, on this channel, I don't quite often endorse software. I do a lot of hardware reviews talking about microphones and things like that. Um, so I thought today, let's look at some software that we use and, and let's dive into some of the things that it could do. Um, now Descript's really interesting. It's one of these tools that it's been around for a few years. I think the popularity of it has risen dramatically over the past couple of years. But it's used by a lot of podcast producers now and it's used a lot in industry as well as actual kind of like independent podcast if that makes sense. So it's actually used by commercial organizations. Um, and there's a few features that I really wanted to showcase. Um, it's all really focused around AI. So not only does Descript turn, really the, the fundamental principle of Descript is it turns your audio into text. So traditionally, when you're editing audio, you're working with what's known as a waveform, which is kind of like that wavy, bumpy thing. Really doesn't mean much to humans. You can kind of, if you're really techy and into your audio stuff, you can kind of see certain patterns and you can kind of identify where there might be silence or where there might be, um, the levels might be too high, that kind of thing. But for your average person, um, you know, you can't find out where someone's talking about a specific topic. Whereas Descript will actually take your waveform and turn it into text. They'll analyze your audio, they'll transcribe it so it's actually words versus just like patterns on the screen, um, which immediately just gives you more power because you can kind of jump to certain sections. You actually know, it gives you your, con your audio more context when you're actually editing it, uh, which I think is really interesting. But it does other cool things too. So, Let's dive in now to take a look on the computer and I will show you how to use Descript and also some of the really cool features that it offers. Okay, so let's dive into Descript and I wanted to show you our working account. Um, let's click on this video. This is uh, a short clip of a video that I made a, few, a while ago called 10 things every radio DJ says and quite often what we'll do with our long video, so they might be 10 minutes long, is we will take out a shorter clip. So we'll say, take out some of the best bits and post them on various social media platforms, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, or LinkedIn or Instagram, etc., and divert that traffic onto YouTube to watch the long form video. So for example, here, um, as you can see, um, let me just take you through the interface. This is a video we've loaded into Descript. It's stored in the cloud. Again, it's great for collaboration if you're working across team or um, you know, you maybe you'll start working on a project at the office and you want to continue editing it at home. Really, really useful to be able to just take a video, upload it, or take a, an audio project, upload it, and be able to access it from anywhere, or have someone else access it. But when you bring a video into Descript, it will actually start taking everything you say and turning it into text. Um, just like a normal audio or video editor, you'll see the waveform, right? This is not really very readable. You can see maybe if something's a little bit too loud or too quiet, but fundamentally, a waveform doesn't really serve much purpose being able to sort of see a computer visualized version of the audio where descript differs is it will actually tie and normally when you're editing you know audio or video you are you just have this to go off you know you're just looking through you have to listen to the video um if you want to trim out something you have to sort of almost like stop and start and figure out where where it is the beauty about descript and this is really the, the core of this product i think this is where this differs to every other solution out there for audio and video editing um is it ties the transcription in which is really kind of almost like a, a document a word doc or a google doc and and ties it to this waveform so currently if i play this video um i'll just play it from here DJ or presenter says. Some of these things are fine and some can kind of get a little bit annoying. So really the idea of this video is to kind of give you some ideas and maybe make you a little bit more aware of some of the stuff you're saying on air. Is it too repetitive? Is it interesting? Is it entirely necessary? Let's find out. So let's just say I think, well, maybe I'm going on a bit too much there. I'm rambling and I want to remove this paragraph. I'll remove this section of my speech. So this is where I think Descript can save you a huge amount of time. It's just as simple as selecting the text, um, the transcription of what I've said, which is automatically generated. As I say, this is done 
uh, on the fly. Not always perfect, but it's pretty accurate and it's very accurate compared to other transcription solutions that we've used. And I can just hit the delete key. Um, and now let's watch this video back. Every radio DJ or presenter says some of these things are fine and some can kind of get a little bit annoying. Is it too repetitive? Is it interesting? Is it entirely necessary? Let's find out. So immediately there, I just trimmed down my video. I've removed a whole bunch of text, which I think maybe was too long or, you know, dragged out and I didn't need in this video. And immediately I've just got like a video. You couldn't, you could even tell that it had been cut. I don't think, this is what I really like about these scripts. You take out the words and it will save you that sort of uh, time that you spend trying to make a video so it kind of sounds smooth and matched because sometimes you'll take out a sentence or a few words that you say and it'll feel like very jumpy. Whereas I think then it almost just felt like naturally, it just felt like it was part of the video. If you just watch that again. Says, some of these things are fine and some can kind of get a little bit annoying. Is it too repetitive? Is it interesting? Is it entirely necessary? Let's find out. So that is fundamentally what Descript is about. Now I want to dive into some of the other features. So next up, I wanted to talk about screen recordings. Now, I've always used something called ScreenFlow to do my screen recordings. Um, ScreenFlow is awesome, actually, as well. I might do another video talking about ScreenFlow. But um, this is a relatively new feature to Descript and pretty simple to get started. I click on New uh, Screen Recording. Uh, you can choose whether or not you want to record from your webcam or you could choose, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to record from your webcam um, and you just want to record from your screen. Likewise, you can select the audio source. I'm connected to an audio interface right now, which is how you're hearing me. And uh, yeah, we want to have transcription enabled. Again, this is really, really good if you want to create quick uh, how-to videos, uh, explainer videos, you want to walk through software, you want to explain perhaps um, more details on a project when you're working with freelancers, whatever it might be. Hit the start screen recording uh, button. I can then select a portion of my screen or I can choose the whole screen and just press the start recording button. Now, well, the cool thing is, as I'm talking to you right now, um, Descript is actually transcribing what I'm saying. So what I've said will be automatically converted to text, just like the video I was editing before, um, which you can obviously do with an audio clip as well. This works for podcasts, and I'll get onto that in a bit. But with video, with audio, it will take what you're actually talking about, or even if you have multiple people speaking, and turn it into text. Uh, so like once we're, once we're finished with that, we can then see it's working on the transcription. Um, and I can play this back. Now, well, the cool thing is, as I'm talking to you right now, um, Descript is actually transcribing what I'm saying. So what I've said will be automatically converted to text, just like the video I was editing before. Okay, uh, so there's a couple of options here. We can either publish and copy the link. Now, this is why I mentioned earlier, it's really, really handy. If you just want to quickly record a video and maybe share it with someone, sometimes it's e much easier to explain a problem or ask a question or explain a solution if you're recording your screen and talking through something than it is maybe writing it out in an email or doing it over the phone. Um, so you can literally just publish it and copy a link. Well, I think this is really powerful. You know, you can say to someone, hit, Here's how you, I don't know, uh, edit video with Descript or, you know, here's how you reconfigure your computer so you're using the right microphone. I create a quick video talking you through the process. Perfect for customer support, stuff like that. Or I can go and edit it, open it in the, uh, the editor. So let's open the project right now. Um, as you can see, this looks very, very familiar. One of the cool things about Descript, uh, which I want to quickly show you, as you can see here, I've hesitated a few times. I've got um, I've got uh, I've got another um here. Um, if I click on this tool here, I can choose remove filler words. And it will automatically, this is so cool. Uh, it will automatically detect where I've said um, uh, um, blah, 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 blah. You know, we all do it. You know, I, I'm not a perfect presenter by any stretches of me, the imagination. And, you know, I think sometimes they aren't the end of the world. I think people get too caught up on, on everything needing to be perfect when they're recording videos for the internet. You know, 
naturally when we're talking to another human in conversation, we'll pause, we'll say, um, we'll say, uh. So I don't think this is always imperative that you take out every single um and uh, but it, it is a feature, they do offer it. Um, so, and I just said an um there, you know. We're going to just delete these. Uh, you can choose to ignore them, or you can choose to replace them with a gap, um, which I think might sound a bit weird. So I'm just going to click apply this to all. And as you can see, it says three filter words detected and removed, right? They're gone. So now I play this back, what I am saying. So what I've said will be automatically converted to text, just like the video I was editing. So I think I had an um there. Now you can't tell really that it's been removed, what I am saying. So what I've said, I think I said what I'm saying. Um, so what I've said, will also must be converted to sex. But do you know what I mean? That sounds really, really like natural. And this is again, the perfect thing about Descript. Takes the time, takes the energy out of editing audio and video. All right, so next up, let's look at how you might edit a podcast. Um, this is a, a fully edited podcast that we did a while ago for the Law Boutique. It's called The Optimized Lawyer and uh, this is a, a finished project effectively so you can see here we've taken out a lot of the ums and ers we've, we've edited this okay so this is the final episode which is ready to be published um, i'm going to go in and just tweak this now the first thing i want to talk to you about is speaker labels the cool thing about um trans uh, editing your transcript or editing in descript versus using just like a, a an audio editor is you can actually specify who's saying what and it will automatically detect and you've got different colors down here so you can see who's saying it what when so in this episode we've got Electra and Laura, or Laura uh, talking and two people different uh, you know conversing and you can see who's saying what when which makes it really super easy to edit and um, the second thing uh, which I want to talk about is the overdub feature. Now, this is pretty cool. Um, supposedly, you can actually replace it with your own voice. Um, I think uh, this is um, on perhaps like the enterprise level version. Um, but what you can actually do is you can you can specify an overdub voice. Life is like a camera. Life is like a camera. Just focus on. Life is like a camera. Life is like a camera. You can actually record. Um, your own voice and create your own version of you as a computer voice. Now that kind of sounds weird. I can't do this with someone else's voice because um, that would allow me to go and basically fake that person, create a deep fake of that person. But there is a tool to actually allow you to record your own voice. It takes a few minutes. I think you have to record like a bunch of different sentences and it will generate you as a computer voice. For now though, in this demo, I'm going to just use one of these default voices. And I want to just say uh, a lot in common with other people. Okay. Okay. So I've just replaced a lot in common with a lot in common with other people. Um, now this voice isn't really a great match for, for Laura, uh, but I just wanted to show you what this is capable of. Actually means there is a lot in common with other people. I'd say the demographic is. <laughs> so you can kind of see where AI is taking us here. We're actually being able to edit a podcast and if there's a mistake or if we want to add to it we can actually insert words with a computer generated voice i don't think it's perfect by any stretches of the imagination and as i mentioned i think there is a way somehow to actually model it on your own voice however um you know if you want to just replace one word with another or replace a couple of sentences i think you could, might be able to get away actually with means it. there is a lot in common with other people i'd say the demographic is is quite yeah. different the product is obviously very different you can add effects. So if, if let's say I want to finish this project up, I'm going to just select all. I'm going to add a compressor, okay? Um, a compressor will basically give my audio more pizzazz. And it, let's go for a light volume boost. Um, it means there is a lot in common with other people. I'd say the demographic is... And immediately you can hear it's just a little bit crisper, a little bit clearer, um, which is awesome. Um, you can also add an equalizer. Um, again, you know, this has got defaults, so I can just choose maybe soft, bright. It means there is a lot in common with other people. I'd say the demographic is... <laughs> so automatically there, I've just trimmed out some, some words. I've, I've edited it. I've made it, um, you know, more of a polished, finished product by adding these um, special effects. 
So now I've finished editing uh, this particular episode, let's say I want to publish it directly to my podcast. I can use File, Export, and um, I can actually choose whether I want to export it to the cloud. So I can choose more, and let's say I want to push it out to podcast.co. I could use podcast.co, and that is it. I hit the publish button, I know the podcast will then go live. But also, you know, I can choose whether or not I want it unlisted or if I want it to go public straight away. Uh, you know, it, it, it's entirely up to you. You might want to say publish it to podcast.co is not a limited episode. You then can go in and choose whether or not exactly when you want the episode to go released or you might want it just to go live straight away. So that is Descript. Now, I'm not being paid to make this video. We've just been using it for the past 18 months as part of our production workflow. We're not only creating videos for our own businesses like podcast.co, matchmaker.fm, radio.co, plus also for my personal brand, but also our production team have been using it heavily for a lot of client work. So when we're working with other clients to create podcasts and uh, edit them and produce their podcasts for them. And if you're interested in that service, by the way, feel free to drop us an email on hello at podcast.co. We have an absolutely amazing in-house production team who work really, really hard on producing some of the biggest podcasts in the world. Uh, here is the Descript site. If you want to go ahead and sign up, like I say, this is not a sponsored video or anything. Just really like this tool and I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, let's take a quick look at the pricing. You can start for free. You get three hours transcription time. You have create a plan and they have a pro plan, which I think $15, $30 a month. So it's all pretty affordable, really. Um, varies on feature sets. Obviously, I mentioned earlier, you get the overdub feature, which is where you can record, you can train it with your own voice to actually replace your own words, which is pretty sweet. Um, and 30 hours of transcription a month, which is, you know, a lot of, of time. It doesn't sound a lot 30 hours, but actually when you're editing videos, which are maybe 10 minutes long and stuff, there's loads of videos that you could be editing or, or audio tracks that you could be editing with 30 hours a month. So there we go, that's Descript. I think it's a really powerful tool. I think it can save you a lot of time in your audio editing workflow. Uh, we love it, I'm sure you will do as well. Now, if you're using Descript, you'll notice you can also directly publish to podcast.co. It makes it really super simple to get your podcast live and distributed to all of the main places. You know, I'm, I'm talking about Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, etc. Um, really, really quickly, um, if you haven't come across podcast.co before, you can go check that out, uh, www.podcast.co. Uh, it's a podcast hosting platform, it makes it super simple to get your podcast live. And also, we have lots and lots of great integrations with cool tools like Descript, plus other stuff, uh, which I'm sure you're going to love. So go and check that out. If you like content like this, remember to subscribe to my channel for updates. I'm producing videos like this every Friday. And all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching this. Uh, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, bye for now. Hey, wait, before you go, perhaps you're looking to start a podcast for your business. And did you know that most businesses make the same exact mistakes? Whenever we work with clients who are struggling to get their podcast off the ground or they're not getting the traction that they deserve, it turns out that most of the time they're making the same mistakes. So what I've done is I've compiled a guide, which is called the five step business podcast checklist, which will show you exactly what you need to know to get your podcast up and running without making the same mistakes that most other people do. So you can download it for free at jamesm.com slash podcast. That's jamesm.com slash podcast. Go and grab your copy today.